This is the Vorthos Forum, and we approve this message. If the Bible seems to tolerate slavery and sexism, can we trust it on sexuality? Okay. Um, the, it depends what we mean by tolerate. To, the word tolerate is, a, is, is basically an 18th century word, which is, which is um, not a very happy way into anything specifically Christian. Um, to, because to, toleration, you know, I can tolerate you the other side of the street. I'm not engaged. To, tolerance is a kind of a cheap, low-grade parody of love. Um, and to, to, tolerance is, is not a great virtue to aspire to. Love is much tougher and harder. You have to engage with someone. You have to discover who they really are. You have to figure out what it might be to live in the same room as this person or in a relationship with them. Um, tolerance just allows things to fall apart. But, but um, So slavery, the Bible does and doesn't tolerate slavery. The Bible contains a great story from beginning to end which has as some of its key moments in the story a message about a God who set slaves free. The book of Exodus is all about that. Israel goes back to it again and again. The Psalms look back to that moment when God freed the slaves. And that isn't just one odd thing that God happened to do. It's a formative narrative. And the Jews instantiated it every year at Passover and some of their other festivals as well. They celebrated their existence as the freed slave people. That runs all the way through. And then when Jesus comes and dies under the weight and slavery of sin and is liberated from that on Easter Day, then Paul and other writers say, actually, this is the great moment of redemption. And redemption has as one of its metaphorical meanings somebody buying a slave in the slave market in order to set that slave free. So the, the idea of slaves being set, set free is woven deep into the narrative Point after point. So when then you get Paul saying, slaves obey your masters um, in Ephesians or Colossians or whatever, does this mean he's colluding with slavery? No. I'll tell you what it's like. You know, in 300 years from now, if there is still a world 300 years from now, God help us, people will look back on this period in history and say, you know, those Europeans and Americans, they knew perfectly well that driving those tin cans around with all that petrol being pumped out into the atmosphere was polluting the world and was running the risk of actually uh, uh, allowing the world to have terrible things happen to it. And they went on doing it. And we've searched, we've ransacked the websites and the Church of the Holy Spirit and everywhere else, and we cannot find any sermons of people people telling you you should give up using cars. And people will say, didn't they know this was terrible? Didn't they know they were polluting? In the same way, we look back and we say, why weren't you guys in the first century preaching against slavery? So slavery was to them like cars are to us. It's just part of the way the world works. And we may know that we do some bad things as a result, but we haven't got the guts actually to challenge it. Now, Paul did challenge it in the letter to Philemon. He put down a time bomb beside the institution which said, actually, Onesimus is a brother in Christ. He's a human being. Wow, that's different. Took a long time to work out. But this year is the 200th anniversary of Wilberforce's abolition of the slave trade in, in, in England. We're celebrating that. Um, so... When people say, as they do, oh, well, slavery, sexism, etc., the Bible's full of that, therefore we don't need to believe it on other issues either. It, it won't actually do, because when you look at the grand narrative about male and female, as I said, from Genesis right through to Revelation, this isn't just one or two arbitrary rules about how to behave with bits of your body. This is about something woven into the deep structure of what it means to be created in the image of God, what it means to be citizens of this God-given world. And until we learn to see ethics in that way, we haven't actually got to first base.